Fasten your seatbelts. We're about to talk about a brand new show that's called Hells on Wheels. Just out in DVD and Blu-ray season two. And uh, the action continues on AMC with season three just about to start. We got two of the biggest stars on the show, Common and Anson with us. And is there anything left to blow up on this show? <laughs> oh, we pretty much, yeah, we pretty much destroyed uh, our entire set at the end of last season. I don't know if you if you saw that, but we had to go in and rebuild a lot of stuff this year. <laughs> All right, I know you guys are tough guys, but let me ask you this question: What impresses you most about the other? That's a good question. About the other? About yeah, what impresses oh, you about, most about, about me, me and vice oh, versa? Oh, I, I, what I'm really impressed about with Anson is his depth as, as far as like as an actor he can do many different things and he brings so many different um, colors and elements to to what he does and and now I'm getting to see him honestly as like he helps out other actors and is like giving great advice and like really good perspective on how to approach things. He just gave me a little secret on on how to do a scene, and I'm like, well, that's just is helpful, and I'm, and you know, he just has a, a depth and a knowledge about filmmaking, theater, and acting. So it's you know, I'm really inspired by that. I could say. Thanks, man. Wow. Well, well, Common is yeah. I'd say that. Um, well, first of all, Common is probably my favorite person I've ever worked with, yeah. uh, because as a as a professional, he shows up and you see our crew smile as soon as he walks on set. And that's because as a, as a person, he's more connected to God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, than probably anybody that I've ever met. And uh, his, his, his creative energy is intimately, intimately linked into his spirituality and his goodness as a person. So uh, it's something that I, I want to learn more about. Hey, that's... Man, this brother, this brother giving me chills, right? I'm going to start crying here. You know, hey, time. tough guys don't cry, right? <laughs> yeah. well, let me ask, you both have come off two very successful motion pictures, but what is the writing about Hell on Wheels that connects with so many people? Well, I think, from my perspective, I believe that this show really is a microcosm of America. It really teaches us, <clears throat> excuse me, about how you know, some things haven't changed and some of the simple things in life are very necessary and the relationships between people and how we've seen each other at that time has changed in some ways but it hasn't completely changed and, and with that being said, it's some of the same issues we deal with on the show we are work, we're dealing with now and um, I just think, you know, it's very interesting to see and, the, and the, to look at like man and understand people better I, I'm always into trying to like learn more about myself and other people and I think this show really gives you that that layer well one thing's for sure we get to enjoy the ride of hell on wheels season three just about to start but before we go given your tremendous success both of you what's uh, one bit of advice you would share with all of us um, I would say to to enjoy what you do and be passionate about it and you know believe in yourself you know and I you know, I, as Anson said, I believe in a higher power. So, you know, believe in God and yourself and, and just enjoy it. We're glad that your passions have led you to Hell on Wheels because we get to enjoy this show, not only on Season 2 DVD Blu-ray release today, but also upcoming Season 3 on AMC. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you.